Hey guys, it's Tara. Welcome to my channel. Can you guys guess where I am today? Look at this beautiful background, the trees, the greenery. We got the beach back here. I am in Jamaica, you guys. I'm super excited to be here. I'm staying at the Bahia Principe in uh, Runaway Bay, right in between Montego Bay and Ochos Rios. And I am on vacation right now, guys. I am ready. I got my bikini on, bikini all summer 2023, water clothes at this point, right? So I'm on vacation and I'm taking you guys with me. I have some fun stuff planned that I wanna show you guys here in Jamaica. I wanna show you guys around the hotel. I wanna take you guys on some excursions with me. So let's stay tuned. All right guys, so I just had breakfast. I have an excursion booked today. I'm going to the Martha Bray River to do some river rafting. Um, and I just want to show you guys a little bit of the hotel real quick. So this this hotel is gorgeous. It's located like in a perfect area right in the middle of Montego Bay in Ocho Rios. So I think it's like about an hour from each location. So if you want to do stuff, you know, all the like the Duns River Falls and all that. But if you want to go to like Montego Bay, like you're smack dab in the middle. So you're not too, too far from anything. And then the hotel is just gorgeous. Like this pool is huge. It stretches like over the entire hotel. The beach is gorgeous. There's like three different beaches at this hotel. It's just so like calm, peaceful, well manicured. Everyone is super friendly here. They have activities going on all day. And it's just a huge resort like it took me maybe like an hour to go from like one end to the resort to the other end, like through the beach, all the different areas. It took like a good minute. So it's huge, but it's gorgeous. This is like the main building where the lobby is. And then they have like shows on the deck, the spas down here, the gyms over here just gorgeous outside super hot hi no I didn't forget you say hi <laughs> excursion Martha Bray I made some friends out here already so and so, people at this hotel are like so friendly like the staff remember you they're super cool and I'm here with my beautiful mother. Mom, say hi. My mom, my best friend, my travel buddy. Good morning, mother. Are you excited to go to the river? I am, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm like super excited for this. Um, so they take you like on a raft down the river and um, they do like limestone massages on your legs and stuff it's supposed to be like super nice so i'm excited so stay tuned i will be back once we get there all right guys we made it to martha bray we're about to get on a raft to go down the river all right guys we made it onto the raft it is so gorgeous and peaceful. We're surrounded by like trees. The water is beautiful. Lush. Lush yes, so lush. We're, they, they have us like on the raft, but kind of like sitting up on like more wood. So you're not like exactly on the bottom of the raft. This is our guide. I'm Fred. This is Fred. Captain this is Fred out of Jamaica. Yes. Going down the Bay River, right? Absolutely. One love, man. One love. Yes, one love. one love. This is just like so nice and like peaceful. Oh my God, I love it. Are there like animals? Any alligators or anything in the water? No, no, no cops today. Not today? <laughs> I said not today. <laughs> oh, wow. Mango. Oh yeah, mango tree. Yeah. See the mangoes? See those? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you. Yeah, man. 
A beautiful picture. This is so nice. Peaceful. Yeah. Hey YouTube, what's going on y'all? Yeah. This is like so nice. Yeah. And bamboo is a tropical grass. It grow two to three inches every day. Two to three inches? Yeah, so we use it to make our home. I can't believe limestone does that. I, I never knew that no. you could do that with limestone. Who's like your limestone is made of? It's rock. Just a rock. Yeah, I think it's just rock. We just stopped at like a little stand on the side of the river over here and got ourselves some coconut. Look at that. Mm. Oh, that's so fresh. That's so good. How do you like the coconut, mom? Love it. This is Delicious. the life. Like, it's so calm and peaceful here. My mom just got her little limestone massage. Don't Stopped for like a coconut on the side. Like, this is a life right now. It's so beautiful out here. Like, this video is not doing it justice, you guys. Like, look at it's just surrounded by trees. The water is like super calm. Fruits. There's fruit. Bananas. There's mango trees. There's fruit trees everywhere. There's birds all around us. It's a literally gorgeous here. Like, I was telling us that there's a few places to do rafting out here. There's Martha Bray. There's White River. And then there's Royal River, right? Huh? Royal River was the other Great. one? Great River. The Great River is another one where you can do this. But he was saying that... Um, Martha Bray is one of the lo the longest. It's three miles long. So, oh God, I just got back um, from the Martha Bray river rafting. We just had lunch at the hotel lunch buffet. Back over here this way. They have a nice little buffet right on the water. Now I'm just going for a quick little dip inside so this is one of the beaches they have this is like the quieter beach it's very calm it's like a cove so there's some like waves over here people can snorkel over here the water is so warm and nice y'all the river raft and let's talk about it so it was phenomenal the guy that we had he was so good um the river rafting experience was it was just gorgeous it was gorgeous it was serene it was calm and then they did like the lime uh the limestone massage like it was just it was everything the guy uh the guy that we had he took like a million pictures of me like this guy was like whatever you guys want i got you he like stopped got us coconuts was taking videos was taking pictures like just super nice people out here and everyone's just chill like the vibe was so nice um then he was telling us that martha bray is one of the longer rivers because you can do rafting at a few different rivers out here but martha bray is one of the longest ones it's three miles long it probably took us maybe like uh 45 minutes to an hour to get um from one end to the other end um, so not too long, but like just long enough to like chill, relax, and just take in beautiful Jamaica. So if you're out here, I definitely recommend doing rafting on one of the rivers. I thought Martha Bray was really nice, and when I was researching different rivers to do, it seemed like it was the most popular out here. Um, and it was about 40 minutes from Bahia Principe. So going towards back towards Montego Bay but it was like 40 minutes so it wasn't that bad of a drive 
we left the hotel at like 10 a.m. We got back here at 1.30. So it was like a quick, a quick day, a nice like chill excursion. If you're if you have like a lot of things that you're doing or you have like an all-day excursion one day and then another all-day excursion, it's probably good to do that right in the middle. So you'll have like a full day of excursion, a nice chill day of uh, river rafting, and then another full day of excursions. That's how we try to like space it out here. So, but oh, it was just, it was just so nice, you guys. Like, if you come out here, you gotta do the river rafting for sure. So me and my mom just walked all the way down the entire like coast um, where the beach is. If you guys can see, like the hotel is back over here. The, um, the buffet that I was just at is like back this way and you can kind of walk all the way down to you get to like this final bar and then once you get down here you hit the nude beach y'all they have a nude beach at this hotel but you have to be fully nude to enter this area so i can't go into this area unless i'm fully nude i obviously can't bring cameras and stuff into this area but they do have a nude beach here which is pretty cool so if you're into that another option at the hotel so let's check out the hotel a little bit so this area is the lobby where you first come into the hotel if you're on the grand side you get dropped off over here and then this is the lobby area it's so Pretty. They have like this glass ceiling here and then you walk this way to get to the check-in area. This is check-in then they have like places to like sit out here. This is where you would come and book your excursions or um, anything with like guest services. If you want to book your a la carte restaurants you would do that here. You book your excursions here. They have like Another thing back here of people who will like take pictures for you so you can pay to do that. And then it opens up back here to the view of the entire hotel, the pool area, the beach. And this hotel is gorgeous. Everything is like white, beautiful, clean, like very pristine, well manicured. So they have this balcony here. They have another bar this way uh, and then they do shows over here at night where they have like people playing music and stuff and then this is like the pool area and all the way back there you can see the water and then on this side of the lobby they have like a little sports bar area where people I've noticed like people come here and they usually have like a game on People are usually watching sports in here, and they have another bar in here, and then also they have um, pool tables in this room as well. So it's like, <laughs> no, you're fine. So they have like a little sports uh, bar area in here, and another bar. This hotel has bars everywhere, like even on the beach, they have bars like every so often on the beach and the beaches here are huge so it's like bar 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 like you definitely are not looking for places to drink there's like bars everywhere at this hotel and then at night this area over here is packed with people watching games so it's a cute little area over here
Grand Bahia Principe. There was some pros and some cons to this hotel. So first thing I want to talk about is the location. The location is kind of a pro and a con. It's kind of far out. If you want to do things in Montego Bay or Negril, it was like three hours from Negril, an hour from Montego Bay. But the good thing about it is if you're doing stuff in Ocho Rios, it's right in between Montego Bay and Ocho Rios. So you're only an hour from Montego Bay and then an hour from Ocho Rios. So you're right smack dab in the middle. But if most of the things that you want to do are going to be in Montego Bay and the grill, I would definitely suggest staying in that area. For us, it worked out because we did the grill, but we also did Dunn's River and Mystic Mountain, which are this way. So we were, it was okay for us to be like in this area. And as far as like doing things close to the hotel, there wasn't much going on in this area. So you can't just like walk out of the hotel and there's like shops and restaurants right there. Like I'm sure if you were staying in Montego Bay, you could walk outside and walk to like different shops, restaurants, beaches in that area. And same with Negril, but um, in Runaway Bay, you, you had to get transportation anywhere you were going. You couldn't just walk. There's nothing to do in this area. As for the food at the hotel, I thought the food at the hotel was pretty good. Um, especially for all inclusives it's usually like a hit or miss but the food was pretty good at this hotel the jerk chicken the jerk pork the patties were good here the pasta was good here like they had some pretty good options the a la carte restaurants um, they were okay well one of them was okay we did the the Mikado, the asian one and that one was okay the new restaurant the knife that one was really good that's their new steakhouse the restaurant itself is gorgeous upgraded new and the menu and the food were really good there um and if i had known that before i honestly would have booked that restaurant the entire time we were here because you only get three um a la carte choices if you stay on the grand side and I would have booked that all three times. But we didn't know till the final day. So, And then um, the other two gourmet restaurants, Don Pablo and Picasso. The menu didn't look good to me. And every time I walked by, there was like no one in there. No one was booking those a la carte. So I don't think people, I don't know how good they were. Um, and then we wanted to eat at Dolce Vita, which was the Italian one, but that one was booked up every day too. So I think that's probably like another good one. And that one's like right on the water. Um, the beach at the hotel, very nice beach. Um, it's more like a cove rather than a beach. It's like kind of enclosed and no waves. It's just very calm water. You can walk out a long way. It's very shallow. So very calm, like relaxing beach. You're not gonna like be playing around in waves or anything like that. Um, and the beach closest to, uh, the closest to like where the water park area was to where the little village was, that was the nicest beach. The other beaches were more so rocky and you could like, you know, walk around in it, but I definitely wouldn't swim in the other two beaches. I would go all the way down to that last beach and swim over there and then if you go all the way all the way down on that beach there is a nude beach section that's enclosed you must take your clothes off to go to that beach you cannot just enter in there you have to be fully nude to go into that beach and there is a bar right before you get to it so you can come out and go to the bar go back inside if you want to get drinks um, as far as the people at the hotel hit or miss some people at this hotel were super nice friendly helpful some people was just not having it not everybody was you know super friendly wanted to be here there was some instances where i was like you know so definitely hit or miss but i would say more so friendly than not like the majority of the people working here were very nice they say hi good morning and some people i don't know tipping though goes a long way at this hotel you have to tip for everything you eat at 
the restaurant, you got a tip. You drink, you got a tip. You eat at the buffet, you got a tip. Um, and they will remember your face. Uh, they will remember you. They remembered me. They like wish me a happy birthday Friday. Like people that I met like once here. So they 100% remember you and they will remember if you tip them or not. And the culture here is you're not gonna get good service if you don't tip, unfortunately. So be ready, bring a lots of lots of ones. Um, and then what else? Excursions were easy to book. They have a company at the hotel called Coming To where we booked all our excursions through them. We booked our transportation through them transportation to and from the airport was a hundred dollars for both me and my mom round trip so i would suggest just doing that because when you get here people could be yelling at you they're gonna be come with me coming in and the the prices they're charging out here are crazy like a taxi from our hotel to montego bay is 250 dollars 250 dollars okay so i would suggest booking transportation through the hotel when you book um, and then what else I think that that's that's pretty much it uh, the drinks are good a little bit watered down if you want the good stuff you got to pay for it unless you stay on the luxury side if you stay on the luxury side you don't have to pay for high-end liquor um, and then another difference with the luxury side is you get room service. You don't get room service on this side. And on the luxury side, you can book a la carte every day. On the grand side, you can only book a la carte three times in the week. Um, so that's like one of the differences. The luxury side is adults only. This side includes adults and kids. Um, and that was pretty much it. The rooms are a little bit nicer. Their lobby's a little bit, it's a little bit nicer on that side but not not by much i i personally didn't think it was worth it to book the luxury side over the grand side um it wasn't that much of a difference i don't know it depends on like what kind of trip you're going for if you're going to be doing room service if you want like the best of the best liquor then it might be worth it for you but for us like that wasn't really important so Booking the grand side was fine. And the food at the buffet was good. So we were more than happy to eat at the buffet on nights that we couldn't go to the a la, a la carte restaurant. But other than that, the stay was great. Jamaica was great. The hotel was great. 